And we are back with part number 13 of the Kingdom Hearts playthrough. Still joining with Philippe. We return to Agarball. It's time to go rescue Jasmine. And we're introduced to what they boys and fat Fire bandits. Big boys. <laughs> Fire big boys. <laughs> oh, it's I true. guess they're called fat bandits. Yeah, they <laughs> are. Okay, <laughs> fat bandits. Yeah, and that's what their actual name is, fat bandits. But they're big still boys. Hit, you still hit, can't hit them in the belly. Um, the only difference is they shoot fireballs. They still do a swipe and they do flamethrowers. If you hit their fireball back at them, they'll be stunned. And ooh, second chance. Ooh, nice. Um, right. You can also use Blizzard, and they'll be kind of um, nuts. stunned for a moment. Yeah, stunned for a moment. Because mm -hmm. you no, know, I forgot that uh, Kingdom Hearts One has like a lot more emphasis on like parrying hits. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they actually reward you with tech points one which is one thing I like about Kingdom Hearts One over Two. Mm -hmm. Also, I like yeah. also I like the counter better in this game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the counter attack, the uh, the guard. Mm -hmm. I like the guard better in this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Because in the second one, she's like, "Oh, look at my blade! Oh, look at my blade!" Lady <laughs> Twirl's like, "Oh, look at my blade!" And this one's like, "Eh." Yeah, he's actually guarding. <laughs> it's like, "Eh." Try it. Like second one, second one's just like, <laughs> second one's just anime. <laughs> yeah. It's all cool. I, I when, ever since I was little, I was like, "Why does he do it like that?" <laughs> <laughs> Putting way too much effort for a, for a guard. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be also, fancy. I wanted to say, uh, since this is episode 13, I wanted to be known that every time I say 13, that it's to be written as with Roman numerals. <laughs> X-I-I-I. 13. 13. If you ever put up subtitles for this video, I better see those Roman numerals. <laughs> 13, 13, 13. <laughs> All right, I do. I do it for this it's one. Thirteen. Video. Uh, all right, it's gonna be Kingdom Hearts Part Thirteen, but it's gonna be Roman numerals instead of the yes. numbers. Yes. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it for this one video. <laughs> do it. I'm also, I'm also putting my hands together into an X <laughs> every time I say thirteen. You guys can't see it, but be sure, rest assured, I'm I, putting my hands to an X. I, I could, I could tell because you're a little farther from your mic when you do that. <laughs> thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Alrighty. So at that point, you need to activate the purple switch. That activates that door right there. Mm -hmm. Then you have to go in here. You have to go in here. Activate a orange switch mm. that activates the lock gate that we just passed right now. And that leads us to Jafar and Jasmine that initiates story. 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 Yeah. In, in Kingdom Hearts. In Kingdom Hearts 2, it was pretty clear where to go, because if you, it was the wrong way. It's like, hmm, I shouldn't go this way. I should go to the battle. <laughs> this guy should go maybe that way. <laughs> hey, idiot. Basically, it's the, it just, hey, idiots, that way. <laughs> it basically just funnels you to the Cave of Wonders in Kingdom Hearts 2. Well, you know, I, I kind of well, appreciated not, that, because I, I, I was... Uh... <laughs> I mean, not, not Agrabah specifically, but I guess in general. Yeah, that's one thing I did appreciate, but it's another. It's just like, okay, uh, like you know, just let me do what I want. It's like, no, it's like, no, it's push me the other way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess like it being kind of like a maze to get through the cave wonders is a little more interesting. Yeah, listen, I got I got lost a lot in this game for sure. Yeah, it like, was pretty. Like, like, let, tricky. let me not get started with Monstro. <laughs> oh God, God Monstro! Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I think Monstro's the worst of it, honestly. Yeah, because yeah. everything looks the same. Yeah. I think if things looked a little different, it wouldn't be as bad, but... Okay, make sure mm. you have your items, your equipment right for this. Because uh, we're getting boss fight. fight Do you fight Jafar here? Jesus Christ, it's been a long time for you to <laughs> fucking cry, <laughs> <laughs> No, we're going to fight the pot centipede here. Oh, right, right, right. Pot, uh, pot centipede, yeah. I just thought you were past that for some reason. Oh, God, yeah, it's, it has been a long time since you played <laughs> This Agrabah's better than the second one, though. Gee. Huh? Fucking retard, J Return to Jafar, yeah. Uh, Square Enix was pretty spot on with Aladdin, where the second movie sucked ass, so the world had to suck ass. <laughs> I bid you all farewell. Attack. It was a little underwhelming. Now nah, the 40 Thieves, though. Now that one. That one's a good one. 
I think that... <laughs> I think Mark was mentioning that too, like he was like, if they had done... If they had gone thieves. for like 40 thieves instead of what they did, like it would have been really cool. It would have been is great, that, honestly. I'm is that the third Aladdin movie? Yeah, yeah it's, th a, it's the third one. I thought it was like King of Thieves. Uh, well, I mean, okay, King of, it, the King of Thieves, because his dad is the King of the Thieves, but it's like the 40 Thieves in a sense. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay, oh, yeah. so uh, this is going to show how Simba falls off immediately after you get him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just like, oh, let me test it out. There's a bunch of enemies. Let me just, let me just do this. Simba. I think I just never use summons in any of these games. Not even Tinkerbell? Well, I was going to say, the one time I ever did was, like, I was stuck on Maleficent. And then I think my friends were like, dude, just use Tinkerbell. You'll just not die. And, and he was right. <laughs> okay. Wow, so, he... Yeah, it, it didn't, didn't do much. The thing is, is that that both Donald and Goofy get cheer, and you can actually get, um, I think it was Crab, I think it's Crab Claw where it boosts up magic and summoning power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a Because, like, you're, like cause your summons could do more damage if you have more magic, but, I mean, why would you? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. This one's, like, it's understandable if it's, like, Kingdom Hearts 2 or above, yeah. where magic is apparent. Mm -hmm. You know, seeing Philippe doing Reflect and Fire Run and all that stuff, so. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. it replenishes but, over time, yeah. Yeah, because, like, yeah. Mushu hits a lot, but hits so little. Dumbo, it's so hard to hit people, and it does even less than Mushu. Simba can do for Crow, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. And mm. Genie, uh, I mean, Genie... Oddly enough, does the most damage besides Simba, but yeah, you still have to boost because it falls off immediately. Mm -hmm. mm. I said I don't, I didn't, I didn't want to use my magic summoning. I wanted to just yeah, use it, it for it, healing. Yeah, it costs two MP in this game. Yeah, which is a lot actually when you're low. Level. I mean, then again, I mean, then again, Kingdom Hearts two, you use up your whole MP bar, so you know. Mm -hmm. But that's yeah. because your MP bar works differently in that one. Yeah, but I mean, you could use it at the very end. Would it still yeah. have the same amount of time? Because it's not... I uh, can't remember. Yeah, it's all—it's always the same amount. Oh, okay. Well, and two, you can still have the cheer up, the cheer skills for Donald Goofy. And I think you have something for yourself to increase summoning. Because mm -hmm. I think they give you more summoning-related abilities or skills you can I put. Think? For two... Usually to make uh, usually to make it longer and do a little more damage, like always. Yeah, like summon drive or something like that. Mm. Yeah, there you yeah, yeah, yeah. Summon boost. Also, you have to level up so it can last longer too. So. Yeah. 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 Uh, also, there's skills in like Kingdom Hearts 2 where, uh, like, if you get hit or something, it'll restore it or make it come back faster. Yeah. Uh, for the rage, drive, yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's MP rage here, but it's basically drive rage where, yeah, you get more when you get hit. Mm -hmm. Or I mean, you do more. Um, anyways, uh, pot centipede is basically a bunch of pot spiders and two pieces of centipede. Uh, the centipedes, uh, the front one does electricity swipes, and the back one has like, not really poison, just darkness tails. Darkness. Mm, darkness. Yeah. Anyway, darkness. <laughs> anyways, it's really hard to avoid them sometimes, and it's really hard. It, it just gets in the way. Yeah. Well, you know, if Jafar wanted to buy some time with this boss, he sure got it. Oh, definitely. It. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is a boss. Ow, mother. Ow. Ow. I'm not gonna lie, this is a boss I always forget in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I definitely forgot it was in the game. <laughs> well, you well, you definitely forgot Kingdom Hearts 1 was a thing. Uh. <laughs> I've been meaning to replay it. No, you well, now is the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anyways, this enemy is pretty tanky because I'm not that strong. Yeah. They expect they expect you to go do the Pegasus Cup from here, but eh. Mm. Ow. And oddly enough, normally when you're going through the world, you have to have a loading screen between every each each area, each market. But for this boss fight, you can just walk through them each. Yeah, I noticed that. That is That's interesting, cool. yeah. I always wondered why 
isn't like that because it's a PS2. It's not bad hardware to run it on, you know? It's, it's possible they'd like disabled, I don't know, like being able to go up to those upper parts or go through the doors or something. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Well, it's just like every time you go through one of these, yeah, every one of these doors, it always feels black, even though it's just like there. Or maybe there's like no sky or something, and this is just like a recreation. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a specific stage. Yeah, this yeah. exclusively this is, for <laughs> this exists in the heavens of Agrabah. <laughs> just yeah, it's like what Philippe says, the sky box. Yeah, he's stuck. <laughs> nice. Hey, he's almost dead. Give it a second. Ow! <laughs> Ow! God, I fucking hate that one. Yeah. Ah, I rolled into it. <laughs> no. <laughs> there we go. go. Dead. Nice. Heal. 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 Go. <laughs> <laughs> the ray of light. I believe that's HP damage. Hmm. To the desert. Come on, let's move. That was one hell of a laugh. <laughs> oh, you should you. Do you remember the keckle he does in two? <laughs> no, he's just such a minor character in two. Uh, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> the only thing I remember Jafar from is shabla blah blah blah. Oh, shabla blah blah blah. Oh yeah. He's like shabla blah blah. What's happening? He throws a fucking building at you. I was like, okay. It's like ah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I, had blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I, for I forgot how annoying um, the Jafar fight was in this game, though, until I fought it just today, and I was like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I was... <laughs> I'd rather fight this one than Kingdom Hearts 2 Jafar, honestly. The... Eh, the eh, mm, well, I don't think it's too hard. No, it's not really no, hard, it's just annoying, but... Yeah, it just... It just forces you to do more phases than you'd like, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, when push comes to shove, they're both not really good bosses, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if I'm going to be honest, I'd rather fight this one than the second one. Because the second one just feels like it's longer only because you're flying on the carpet all the fucking time. Yeah. yeah. And, like, right when you're about to hit, like, uh, the window when you can hit them feels so, so little. And then he takes yeah. you into the, like, cloud area play rip. Air, where he throws buildings at you, mm -hmm. like that's just a yeah. new, that's just a nuisance. It just delays the fight, honestly. I mean, yeah. th I mean that's me. I don't know how you guys feel between the two. No, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's just there to pad it out. Uh, yeah, but I do remember like the. F do you fight the genie Jafar in this game? I think you do, right? Yeah, at the very end. Okay, but I I think the human battle. Yeah, the human I battle being is a little annoying. <laughs> yeah, the human battle is what annoyed me. Yeah. The the second part is not... I was like, oh, no, this is fine. Well, though, I mean, no, the second part's easy, because yeah. you just whack Iago. Yeah. Yeah. But the first well, part, know, I was like, oh, get over I mean, here, dang it. <laughs> I mean, either way, you're going to struggle with the terrain, because the second one, you have to, like... You know, the second one, it changes its, um, like, the blocks where you step on or grab on mm. or stand on. Mm-hmm. Which is annoying, because when Jafar's in the air and, like, the platform you're on is, like, on the very bottom, it's like, okay... Mm -hmm. Yeehaw, random cowboy. <laughs> In real life, you would have been he would have been thrown into the rocks and had a concussion. Like, oh, what happened? Rocks. <laughs> Most likely, or hopefully, you'll land on some sand. Sand yeah. would be hard. <laughs> well, with enough, with enough force, yeah. It's called. Do you use uh, the limits much at all, Juan? Uh, like Sonic Blade and all that. Yeah. Um, I might use Arcs Arcanum later. Okay. Like that's the one like reliable one I know, I c yeah. that I actually like in this game because mm -hmm. Kaylee and I have already talked about the limits. How uh, one, it's very inconvenient. Two, it's very specific with the because you have to be a certain distance or uh, yeah. this or that. And since you have to scroll down to the menu bottom part of the menu to actually do it instead of just pressing triangle, it's kind of a hassle to do it in this game. Like mm -hmm. Final Mix, they let you just press triangle, easy. Yeah, but in this game, Whee! it's. It's kind of a hassle to set it up and to actually do it. Mm -hmm. That and most of the time they require like 3 MP or something like that. So, yeah. And you can easily fuck it up because strike raid, it's a, you're supposed to be able to throw 5. But if you throw 1 and miss, 
That's it. You just wasted three bars of MP for a yeah. miss, you yeah. know. I already gave Kaylee the the pirate ship Heartless. Long time ago, I was playing one of the cups. I think it was like Hades Cup. I decided to do Strike Raid. I threw, oh, God. I, yeah, the Heartless that drives the ship from Neverland. You know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did Hades. I was doing the Hades Cup. Decided to do Strike Raid. Hit him once. Then he just moved to do um, cannon drop, cannon bombs on me. So I missed my second strike raid and I used up the rest of my MP. It's just like, that was a waste, you know? Yeah, that sucks. Honestly, the only time the limits were like useful was two, but that's only because the two final mix, because there's an actual form that was just mm -hmm. limit form where that was the whole gimmick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and they just gave him like an ass ton of iframes, mm -hmm. like so much. <laughs> but I do hear the limits are way more better in Chain of Memories, honestly. They're a little more oh. easily uh, activatable, I guess. Yeah, because it's a, it's a combination of cards. Yeah, it's based on the numbers. Yeah. If you do numbers up. and uh, what and what wasn't it based off a little bit about from the keyblades you use? I don't. Because all the think keyblades have different like elements. Because the keyblades have different elements in this event. Some of the requirements are different. You know, to do different skills. And it's been a while, awesome. but I think. At least some of the ones I remember that it was just like you have to have above or you have to have like between a certain amount uh, like you'd have to have like a value of like between 10 and 17 or something for like to activate a certain one. Hmm. I believe Arx Arcadum like 6 and Sonic Blade is like 21 I want to say. Something like that yeah. So you have to have like real high level cards to get some of those ones. I didn't really... Did I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Philly. At some point, I'm going to be doing Rechain of Memories. Uh, is that <laughs> Good one? luck. Oh, Good luck. Is that... Yeah, 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 I, yeah, first time playing, first time recording. <laughs> it's going to be great. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, maybe, I... maybe you don't have to invite me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I mean, nothing says I have to do it, but like... <laughs> Like, I didn't even play that game. I just told my nephew, hey, you should play this game, and I'll watch you. <laughs> did, you, did, and he, you did, did he play and beat it? He did, but it took him a shitload of grinding, because I don't... We didn't know, like, all the cheese or whatever. All the strats. Uh, we just kind of powered through it. I mean, even then, if you know those, it's still, like, a pain. Yeah, like, uh, lethal, yeah. lethal Frame's really good in that one. Mm. Ah! Simbo was actually Whoa. pretty good in, in uh, and then Cloud was a really good uh, summon in Chain of Memories. Although, oh, I heard Cloud was like super busted because in like the Game Boy Advance. Oh yeah, he was. Just he was amazing. It's 2D. Like I, I definitely like <laughs> always would be like, yep, okay, Cloud, come out, please. <laughs> I mean, he's still good. Oh, the water's killing him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to be fair, Got him. to be fair, Cloud's still good in Reach Out of Memory. Oh yeah, he too. is, but he's a little yeah. less. I want to well, say like cause accurate because it's like a 3D stage instead of just a up and down 2D, I well, guess. Well, the targeting still is still is kind of ass in that one too. To be mm -hmm. fair, because the targeting's way different compared to like uh, mm. Kingdom Hearts One. Mm. <laughs> I'll remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Still, the the Game Boy Advance is honestly the, the superior the, version. <laughs> yeah, the GBA has wonderful sprites. Honestly, it does. I was about to say that those sprites are so good. Uh oh, it solitary. Is the superior. <laughs> oh, I dropped my coffee. God damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but oomph. Oh boy, I gotta. Oh god. Okay. Oh, oh no. Shit. That's okay. Do you need us to pause or? No. Well, I mean that—that that was the end of the video, anyways. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Convenient, Any but oh no. Well, anyways, that was part number thirteen. Uh, part fourteen, we're basically gonna be finishing up Agrabah. Let's we're, do we're, it. We're gonna relive that. Uh, well, you guys Let's are gonna go. relive that Jafar fight. <laughs> 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 I already did that. <laughs>
Let's go. Uh, but uh, I got nothing else to say. What do you got? What about you guys? You guys ready? All good. Ready go. Yep. All right. Well, that's it. See you guys in part number fourteen. Okay. Right. I'm gonna stop what? recording.